Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, and welcome back to Tandy Writes, and I'm going to apologise in advance for what's going to be a very unboxing heavy time on my channel. See, I just did an unboxing where I unboxed maybe like four or five months worth of packages in celebration of finishing my first draft. Today we are going to be unboxing this beauty, and this is the T. Kingfisher Illuminacrate exclusive set. And I think next week or the week after, we're going to have the Illuminacrate September box arriving, so... Sorry in advance if you don't like <laughs> me opening packages. And I haven't dabbled in Illuminacrate like just the books before, I've only very recently, I say recently at the start of the year, got into their monthly boxes. So I've definitely not dabbled in Evernight as well, which is their horror exclusive, I believe. And I've ordered the Tea Kingfisher books, so I am just obsessed with Tea Kingfisher, you know, right next to me, right by my face for this video. And originally I was disappointed because I saw that, oh, they're to pre-order this set of books is an Evernight exclusive and I'm not an Evernight subscriber and I just assumed that everyone wants things as badly as I do, like we're all interested in the same things so I thought oh these books are surely gonna sell out and then they didn't so I did get to buy them in the end. And usually I wouldn't do an unboxing video just for one book or one package of books but I'm very excited about this and I've really fallen in love with Tea Kingfisher this year. The books in here I believe are the Twisted ones which I haven't read yet but I will be soon hollow places and what moves the dead i believe my favorite tea kingfisher book is metal and bone which i read at the start of the year and is what was my gateway to the author and what made me fall in love with all her works it's the only really fantasy one that i've read so far the rest are more like classic horror or horror influenced whereas nettle and bone is just like true dark fantasy but my favorite tea kingfisher specifically horror is The Hollow Places, which might be a controversial opinion, I don't really know, I'm not up to date on the law. So let's open this guy. I will say I really love the red boxes, it's a very nice shade of red, it's not too blinding like the yellow ones that reflect all the light and are completely blinding to look at. There we are, opened with some lovely brown paper rather than the worms that I love so much. Here they are. Okay, I know the dimensions were listed on the website, I think I might have said royal hard back. I don't actually know. I could probably put the website but I'm not going to. But look how tiny. Look how tiny and dainty this is. Do I have... The closest available paperback I have is my own one. So this is maybe like a 5 by 8 hardcover. Is that what a royal hardcover is? But it's like the size of a UK paperback, which is very fun. Also, these look so nice together. Look at them. And obviously straight away stunning shiny gold stenciled edges all around. I twisted myself around like the twisted one. I'm so hyped to read this and it says Evernight exclusive on there. I am actually going to pull up the website so I can see if there's some kind of artist credits I can give while I'm yapping. And I will also say that I splurged on the special edition books because also I love the author and because I didn't splurge on the Owl Crate um, Six of Crows box, which I did really want. But it was less books than the Greta trilogy, the Shadow and Boat ones, obviously, and there's also less items, but the price is very similar. And then plus the international shipping cost, it was just completely unreasonable for me to splurge on that. So I went for these instead. Okay, so the set are B format hardbacks, which I guess is just, you know, the standard UK size. Exclusive redesign covers the illustration by Ross Dottir, designed by Perry Cuff Designs. Full embossing on the hardback, again by Ross Dottir. Digitally printed edges by Ross Dottir. Illustrated end papers by Natas. I need. I need to pull up. I need to pull up an Instagram by Natasha. By Natasha, I believe. I will put up all the details on the screen because I know I'm absolutely butchering these names. And okay, end papers are different on the front and back, and it's digitally signed by the author. Please note: digital mock-up, finished copies may differ slightly. So, this absolutely stunning. This is the one that. I'm most excited by it because I haven't read it yet, but also it's the blue one and that intrigues me greatly. Because also this doesn't match like the UK cover I've seen. Oh my god. When Mouse's dad asks her to clean out her dead grandmother's house, she says yes. After all, how bad could it be? That's... I just... I glimpsed the end papers, obviously. But that's... completely stunning. If I ever write an adult book, I might be modelling the cover design off of this. <laughs> We have like broken doll parts and it looks like it's the same on the back as well. It's blue, it's it's not like a laminate but it's also not the whole cloth bound feel that I hate so this is like nice to, this is nice for me to read. And then, ooh, okay. 
So we have, I imagine, our main character in the woods here. This is a stunning illustration. And in the back, it's like a kind of stone circle. This is, I was going to say it's very dark, more, but this, you know, could be literally anywhere. Very walls, very stone circle. And then I'll show you. Yeah. Probably not to like completely creak it open. But this stunning, show stopping, perfect. This was a very good purchase. I'm excited by this. I'm also very excited for my inevitable like New Year spring cleaning book unhaul and bookshelf reorganisation because as you might be able to see there's a lot that I can't fit on right now and I'm trying not to get rid of every book I own because I would love to have a library if I can ever afford to move out but you know I need, I need the space right now but yeah stunning perfect going to look lovely if I can ever fit it in this gap Okay, next up is the Hollywood Places. I'm going to save it to the last because it is my favourite. So instead, next up, we have a house with good bones. This is, again, stunning. Stunning. Okay, so they are very similar in terms of colour scheme and they have the roses as the roses are a very, you know, integral part of the plot. And then, you know, stenciled all the way around. Vultures are extremely sensitive to the dead. That is true. And they also have little ladybugs on there, which are, again, very essential to the plot. The main character's, I was going to say special interest, her job is in historic, in the extreme summary, historic bugs, and when people do like archaeological digs, what bugs are present in the dirt. So when she notices that there's no bugs, specifically ladybugs, in her garden, she knows something's off. This is gorgeous. And also because like, it's, this is a very teeny tiny book. It's still very teeny tiny. And you know, try, try not to look at the end papers. Ooh, this one has slightly more texture than the other one, but it's still stunning. We have the roses and the vulture. It's just catching on here that this is like two, the same image. <laughs> I'm not very smart today. Again, vultures, again, very relevant to the plot of this book. The one that stuck out to me a lot about A House of Good Bones is how the humour works throughout. And like, I'm sat there like, afraid to turn the lights off at night, yet it's funny. I want to keep reading, it's engaging. I feel very present with the characters because I feel like I'm the kind of person who will just make jokes in a time of extreme stress. I can't remember what our main character is called at all. Samantha, it's Sam. So here is Sam in the garden, looking for the ladybugs. And in the back we have... <laughs> We have Sam after everything kind of goes wrong and um, the bones of the house are revealed again in summary. And actually that's... I would say it's a spoiler for the plot because this is the climax of the book illustrated here, but you cannot tell what is going on at all there. Look at this stunning look at my bestie Samantha. Look at her. And yeah, then we got the same quote on the back, which is on the back of the dust jacket. And let's show you the dust jacket. Here's the dust jacket. Then The Hollow Place is a fun book to me because I think it has like a very different US cover that is like kind of grey, it's got very strong sci-fi energy with like, just like a floating tree in the middle and that is the cover that, because I originally read this as a library ebook, that's the cover that I had but I love this one a bit more, it suits it a lot more So The Hollow Places is about, what is our main character in this one? Kara, she moves into like her uncle's kind of like you know there's roads like, like small local museums that are kind of run out of someone's house a curiosity shop as well it's got lots of taxidermy animals in there which are again very relevant to the plot and one of the items in this kind of antique museum is kind of cursed kind of haunted and it's from another dimension and its power opens up kind of a portal to this other dimension and I think in my review I said this book is the film Annihilation meets K. Alice Marshall's Rules of Vanishing if it was funnier and kept me up at night a lot more. I love it. So Kara and whatever the man is called in this book, I just want to keep calling him Stephen or Steve or something like that. It's almost definitely not. It doesn't say in the description. But they go through the portal into this other world and it's kind of like the place between worlds i say if you read the narnia book magician its nephew is that a kind of i've said this if i read it recently they go through the pool and it's a world for the other pools they go into this world which is just like a gateway to other worlds and there's something that's kind of hunting them down and does not want them there so this creepy girl in the front 
is I'm imagining it is a reference to a guy who has in this book has been stuck in this in-between world for so long and um, I kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit when I was reading about him. Then the quote on the back is, if there's a way into hell someone will always find it, which is very true. Then a virtual gaze for the end papers. Okay. Obviously stunning. Obviously stunning. And then our dust jacket design are some of the taxidermy animals in this curiosity museum. You know, same on the back. Beautiful swampy bones, stenciled edges, and that's let's look at the inside. <gasps> what is this guy called? Oh, Simon. His name's Simon. I know it's an S name. So here we have Kara and Simon just examining the hole in the wall that has been opened. And that hole in the wall is a portal to hell. And then... <gasps> Then the back end paper art is they go through the portal and it opens up into the, the world between worlds where there's lots of little islands that each lead into a bunker which then leads into a different world or a different dimension, I believe. And this this little school bus scene did not throw up in my mouth but did keep me up at night. I'm going to reread this because this is like... Again, the sense of humour in this book is very strong and it's what keeps you going through the scenes that make you want to die. I'm going to put these in the order that God intended them. These are stunning. These are beautiful. The other Illumicrate special editions I really wanted were the... the V. Schwab, the Our Savage Song, uh, or This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet. The Monsters of Verity is what the duology is called. And I want them so badly but I have these instead. And I love these so much. So thank you all so much for indulging me and watching me unbox books for another week in a row, and I hope to see you next week with what I hope will be uh, the Illumicrate September unboxing. And I will say that the book that's included in that box has arrived with me early, and I'm enjoying it very much so far. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!